Yesterday was the first warm day of the, of the year here. <laughs> uh, so, it was a very still night. So I put the moth trap out. And, uh, the overnight temperature fell to 7 degrees. So, whether we've got anything in this or not, I've no idea. It's the 5th of June. Well, it's the 6th of June today. And it's an absolutely glorious day, wall to wall sunshine here. And uh, the wind has changed from the north to the southeast. <laughs> the temperature is in the mid 20s. So let's have a look inside this trap and see what we've got. I put it out a fortnight ago and got one peppered moth, that was it. Just looking at it from here, it doesn't look like there's, <coughs> there's very much in it. Little cock chaffer. And that one. And uh, another cook chaffer, and that's it. Last year at this time, there was dozens. Last night I put the uh, moth trap out. June the 14th. It had been a nice day and it was a very, very calm night. Uh, and quite warm, about 12 degrees. <laughs> Let's just have a look inside and see what we've got. A nice yellow one. It's a wonderful thing. And it sort of tucks its head on down and it tucks its antennae there round under its front wings. See those big eye spots. Yeah, beautiful thing. Oh, 
Well, lots of these this time. That distinctive V pattern when they close their wings. Yeah, lovely looking thing. It's a very lightly coloured one, but different from the others, and it? it's just got spots on it. Beautiful. There are, two of the <coughs> there are two of these pink hawk moths. A sort of, I think it's called an elephant hawk moth, and then there's a, there's a sort of greater, and a, or there's a lesser one which is different. I don't know which one this is. There's another spotted one there. And a fair number of these with sort of red or orange underwings. Another hawk moth. It looks remarkably like the first one, but it's different. Put them side by side. You can see that they are, they are different from one another. And all these funny little moths, which are even more difficult to identify. Interesting little thing there. I don't think I've seen that one before. A little tiny thing. A little tiny thing. That's a funny little thing. Amazing markings on that. Peppered moth. Oh, lovely things.
Interesting to, see, <coughs> interesting to see just how different these pepper moths are from one another. Interesting one in a sort of big long snout. Oh, wonderful. This one is a poplar hawk moth, which is quite common. Quite windy today. You can see the, uh, the reddish colour as it prepares to fly off. Yeah, it would seem this is the large elephant hawk moth. The small elephant hawk moth's got sort of yellowish patches on its underwings, whereas I don't think this one does. Well, that is a stunning, <laughs> a stunning insect. It really is. So we had three hawk moths in the trap last night. The uh, poplar hawk moths flown off, <laughs> so we can't can't see all three together. Beautiful. Well, that was a good day, considering last time I did that. I had about ten miserable moths, and the time before that, I only got one. So just that little bit of warmth makes a tremendous difference. And rather striking white legs it's got. Eyes off. When I made this contraption, I thought, I don't know, probably ten years ago for mason bees. Just pieces of timber and bamboo in different size holes. I was always intrigued as to what went on inside these, because they obviously, the mason bees go in head first and come out head first, so they obviously turn around when they're in there. Um, and you can make a little sort of mason bee hive just using plastic tubing and uh, the, there are several videos on YouTube showing you how to do this but uh, I came across this on the internet and it saved me all the hassle and you can see there that uh, there are lots of different sized tubes and three of them have been used by the bees and uh, and they've sealed them off with soil. But you can take them out and have a look at them. If I just undo these two catches, the whole of this comes out. And there you can see the, the tubes. So you can see how they, they put a little plug of earth in and then pack it with pollen. Then I put another little plug of earth in and pack it with pollen and then seal the 
the front up. So they and they lay their eggs on the pollen. The young bees, the young larvae feed on this pollen. Um, so they're sort of little individual cells. And each of these tubes is worked by just one bee. They're not bee colonies as such. The bees are solitary bees. So it's quite intriguing to see. I'll put it back and uh, hopefully we'll get some more. Slightly unusual, I've seen that one before. Oh, that was a good thing. Shiny ones. I like them. I like them. <laughs> like chrome plating. Ooh, a tiger moth. Oh, lovely. Velvet head.
Well, it's the, uh, it's the 10th of September, I think. Remember the 11th. And I've had the moth trap out. It's been a, a particularly disappointing year for moths, but yesterday it was, uh, it was 20 degrees in the late evening, so we'll just see what's in here. We're uh, just looking from this perspective, not a lot. Now that's a very pretty moth which I haven't seen before. And shock it from the wind. I don't know what this. I've never had one in the moth trap before. brought this inside to have a closer look at it. It being something I've not seen before. It's a pretty thing. It's probably something very common. So we will let us know what it is. I'll look it up on the web. Well, I had the moth trap out six times this year. And uh, a couple of elephant and hawk moths very early on. But since then, some days there was only one moth in it. Uh, sort of one of these orange underwing things. And on one occasion there was about 40 of these, <laughs> these orange underwing things. But for the rest of it, maybe two, three, and that's about it. So uh, it's now the, uh, I think it's the 10th of September, and I don't intend to put it out again. So uh, we'll just have to make do with that and wait till next year. Yeah, how disappointing. But interesting, it's interesting. Just just the very fact that they're not there. Why aren't they there? Where was it? Because it was a sort of cold, windy wind spring and very dry early summer here, I have no idea. I'd be interested to see how uh, how other parts of the country have panned out. Anyway, as far as moth trapping goes, we'll see you next year. As far as fishing goes, we'll wait to see you later in the week. <laughs> Take care, bye bye.